free. Oh, absolutely. Everything is free. Everything we do for them is free. Uh, the only people that make any money on this are the people that print the shirts for us and sell the shirts and the local business people that are going to serve hamburgers and, and hot dogs to all these guys when they leave here. So, Just kind of talk about your, your message inside. Well, you know, it's, uh, you know, I was a troubled youth and I was a guy that uh, had a lot of some of the same opportunities that these guys had. And, and I got involved with some things that uh, were kind of beneath my character and as a result, wasted my opportunity. And that's one of the reasons that I do this. And, and I really see it almost as a ministry, an opportunity to kind of share my experience with some of these young people and hopefully plant some seeds that are positive and kind of keep them going on the right path. You want to share some of, the, I guess, some of your best experiences with this, with, with the combines, and I guess your your best pupils coming out of this. Well, you know, the, the very first year, and I wore this shirt too for a reason for my guy Chad Bumpus, because uh, Chad, you know, works with us on Bulldog Sports Radio, and Chad's a Tupelo alum. And uh, the first year, we had Fletcher Cox and uh, Nico Whitley and Tyler Russell and Vincent Sanders and Pat Patterson. You know, just the list goes on and on. That was the best year uh, that we've ever had. But we've had so many great stories, and you know, one of the best stories that's kind of unfolding here is Keyshawn Hurd from Tiny 1A Hamilton High School, and he's going to be, assuming he makes fastest man competition today, which it looks like he will, he'll be the first three-time ever participant. Uh, he came here and did that as a sophomore and as a junior, and I think that is really cool for a guy to be able to maintain that level of speed. This has become kind of a thing where it's gone from your big guys like your Nico Whitley and Channing Morris to guys who need the combine. Are you happy the way this has kind of turned out? Absolutely, and I really think it's important to note that a lot of those guys, Fletcher Cox did not need me to announce his arrival on the scene. You know, we wanted to get him here and evaluate him. Uh, but what this has kind of become, and we've listened to our high school coaches, uh, I had one particular high school coach text me and say that every kid that came to the combine last year either signed with a junior college or earned a walk-on spot somewhere. So that's a guy that's got an opportunity to play college football that ordinarily wouldn't have had it. That's really what we want is to give all those guys that have a chance a better chance. What have you seen from Keyshawn as far as his game? How will it translate? I think he's a great player, and you can look at him and look at his frame, and you can see that he's a guy when he puts on about 15, 20 more pounds, it's not going to hurt his dexterity, and his athleticism is off the charts. I think he's probably a free safety at the next level because he does like to hit, but with his speed covering the deep third, I mean, he is an SEC guy all the way. I don't care what kind of classification he plays for, and we go to one-on-ones, he'll show everybody that too. What about Denver McQuarrie? Have you got to look at Denver and interception like him, machine? Like him a lot, and, uh, you know, he ran, and they were talking about it's the best 40 time he's ever had in his life. He ran here today. He ran a 4.6, you know, which is not – SEC elite speed, but that's one of the things that we wanted to do too is that we care about all the kids, not just the guys that are SEC guys. And to have a guy come out here and then record a personal best, we hope he can use that to get into those summer workouts and do a better job to prepare for the season. Steve, who would you say your, your best success story is from, from absolutely no one knowing their, their name, couldn't pick them out of a lineup to maybe a D1 scholarship? Well, I think Channing Ward was one. Channing Ward came as a, as a freshman and then kind of worked his way up. And Chris Rayford is a guy that showed up here and didn't have a single letter uh, or offer or anything to note when he came as an underclassman. And then the next year he comes, he came the day after he committed to Mississippi State. Uh, and, I, you know, there are a lot of stories like that. And I think the main thing is just to take these guys that maybe are tucked away in some under-recruited areas and give them a platform to kind of showcase their skills and improve their stock as a college football prospect. Is there Terrace Gwynn one of those guys that got from Corinth playing quarterback, maybe a safety on the next level? What, what do you know about his game? I will tell you this. I watched him on film. I absolutely love him. And I was so glad to get him here. I had a chance to talk to his coach yesterday. Kind of recruited him up here because I wanted to see him work out and see how he would do in some other positions. But he's a guy that I expect to go to Ole Miss State's camp and probably leave with an offer.